Welcome to our channel. Today we will learn 7th Standard Science Term 3 Unit 2 Universe and Space. In the lesson, we will see book back answer for loving. We will see you in the video. First one, choose the correct answer. First one, the moon takes dash days to complete one revolution around the earth. Answer, option C, 27. Second one, if the moon is appearing in the sky today near the star Karthigai, the position of the moon after 27 days is near the star. Answer, option D, Ashwini. Third one, Telescope was invented by answer option A. Han Lippershi. Next, fourth one, the galaxy containing young and odd stars is answer option D. Spiral galaxy. Fifth one, with the launch of this satellite, ISRO became capable of launching four ton heavy satellites. Answer option C. GSAT 19. Fill in the blanks. Second Roman, fill in the blanks. First one, waxing of moon means answer growing or expanding. Second one, heliocentric model is proposed by answer Nicholas Copernicus. Copernicus, sorry, Nicholas Copernicus. Third one, the Big Bang Theory is the prevailing model of evolution of the universe. The Big Bang Theory is the prevailing model of Evolution of the universe. Fourth one, Ursa Major is a large constellation which covers a large part of the sky. Fifth one, Aryapata is the first satellite launched by India. Next, third Roman, true or false, if false, give the correct statement. First one, on a full moon day, when the sun is setting in the west, Moon rises in the west. Answer false. Correct statement. On a full moon day when the sun is setting in the west, moon rises in the east. Second one. The word crescent refers to the places where the moon is less than half illuminated. Answer true. Third one. Galileo accepted the geocentric model. Answer false. Correct statement. Galileo did not accept the geocentric model. Fourth one, our Milky Way galaxy is identified as an elliptical galaxy. Answer false, correct statement. Our Milky Way galaxy is identified as a spiral galaxy. Fifth one, the planet Venus in our solar system doesn't have a moon. Answer true. Fourth Roman match the following. First one, Rohini. Answer, SLV3. G set 14. Answer, G G S L V D five, G S A T nineteen. Answer G S L V mark three, Chandrayaan two. Answer G S L V mark three, M one, Mangalyaan. Answer P S L V X L C twenty five. Next analogy fifth Roman analogy first one. Older stars. Answer elliptical galaxies. Younger stars. Answer spiral galaxies. Second one. Nearest galaxy, Andromeda. Nearest star, Sun. Sixth Roman, very short answer. First one, the word crescent refers to the places where the moon is less than half illuminated. Answer on the crescent. Second one, Mercury and Venus planets never appear in the midnight sky. Third one, number of days taken by the Mars to orbit around the Sun, 687 days. Fourth one, in which space does the size of the planet Venus is small? Answer, Hibbus, Hibbus space. Fifth one, the only evidence of the Big Bang theory is, answer, cosmic microwave background. Sixth one, the galaxy which contains abundant amount of gas and dust is, answer, irregular galaxies. Next, Seventh one, which country launched the world's first satellite? Answer, Russia. Seventh Roman, short answer questions. First one, what is epicyclic model? Answer, book page number 28. First question answer. To explain the bustling phenomena, astronomers in early times proposed 
a change in the simple geocentric model. This is called as epicycle model. This one first one answer. Second one. Name the four different types of galaxies. Answer book page number 31 and 32. Larku pakla. First one. Spiral galaxy. First point. Spiral galaxy. Second one. Barrel. Next page la. Second one paarunga inge irukku. Elliptical galaxy. Elliptical galaxy. Third one. Bird spiral. Bird spiral. Fourth one. Irregular galaxy. In the fourth four points you write panning. Okay. Second one answer. Next, what is constellation? Answer book page number 33. A constellation is a recognizable pattern of stars in the night sky when viewed from the air. International Astronomical Union has classified 88 constellations. To cover the entire celestial sphere. This is right. Panikla. Third one answer. Okay, wow. Fourth question. Give the expansions of PSLV and GSLV. Answer book page number 36. PSLV is the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. GSLV is Geo. Synchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle. Okay, wow. We'll write panikla. Fourth one answer. Next, eighth Roman answer in detail. First question. Explain the waxing and vanning phases in Venus. Answer book page number 29. Let's look at the first detail of the answer. Galileo was startled to find like moon Venus to exit her phases. The shape varied from crescent to gibbous. Also, the size of the planet varied. When the planet was in gibbous phase, the size was small. And when it was thin crescent, the size was many folds higher. They did the kila and the pine right panicla. As the Venus went around the epicycle, a zone in the diagram Venus would exhibit phases. Also, at times the planet would be nearer, making the apparent signs grow bigger and at times far making the apparent size smaller. Okay, we will the picture and the drop the crescent and the Venus orbit. The sun is the crescent and the size of the sun is the drop. This is the face of Venus in geocentric model. Okay, wow. Next point is the drop the drop. This is the full moon, full gibbous, this is half crescent. Okay, wow. This is the drop of the picture. Drop this is the pace of Venus in heliocentric model. If the Venus was going around the sun and its orbit in, inside that of air, Venus would appear always near the sky, sun in the sky. Can never be seen in the midnight sky. Secondly, when it is near the earth, it would be brighter and bigger compared to when it is on the other side of the sun. Next point. If the Venus was revolving around the earth, we can never see the gibbous space of the Venus. And it would be seen only if it is orbiting the sun. Okay, wow. The first detail of the answer. That is the orbiting the sun. He varaduma. Okay. Orbiting the sun and he right panavana orbiting the sun and motor right panic. Okay, this is the first detail or answer. Second question, Pakla number second detail. I'm looking at Kater Kangana. Write short notes on constellations. Page number 33 and 34. Lark answer Pakla ma. You can get constellation topic. You can get the key right panicla. A constellation is a recognizable pattern of stars in the night sky when viewed from the earth. International Astronomical Union has classified 88 constellations to cover the entire celestial sphere. Many of the old constellations have Greek or Latin names and are often named after mythological characters. Next, Ursa Major is a large constellation and it covers a large part of the sky. The most striking feature of this constellation is a group of seven bright stars known as a Bigger Dipper. Next, Ursa Minor in Latin means the little bear. It lies in the northern sky. The pole stars Polaris lies with its constellation. The main group, Little Dipper, consists consist of seven stars and is quite 
similar to that found in Ursa Major. Next page, let's continue. Orion was under, under in Greek mythology. The constellation comprises around 81 stars out of which all about 80 serve 10 or 2 faint to be seen with naked eye. Different constellations become visible in the sky at different times in the year. This happens due to the revolution around the year. Evolution of the Earth around the Sun. Unlike galaxy, galaxy constellations are mere optical appearance and not real objects. In ga galaxy, stars are bound by gravity and constitute a system. In a constellation, one star may be near and another very, very far, but because they are in the same direction, appear to be near to each other in the sky. You are right, Panikla. Second detail answer, okay? Next, hot question. Higher order thinking skills. Neelan and Mala are having a conversation about our universe. Neelan is telling our earth will be the only planet in the entire universe to have a life with. But Mala is opposing his view by citing certain points. What would be the argument of Mala? Do you support Mala? Justify your stand in the answer. I would like to support Neelan because life is possible only on earth due to presence of water, oxygen, various cases and the suitable temperature which enables us to live. Mala opposed Neelan's view based on the following points. Like the sun, there might be billions of the other stars with their own planets evolving around them. Thus, there are many chances of any planet getting the suitable conditions for supporting life. In the Marigoda, right? Panikla. In this video, if you are useful, subscribe, like, share. Thank you to all.